Hi, Rene. Hi, Rene. Good evening. Good evening, Irene. How are you? Very well. Thank you, Excellent. teacher. I'm okay, Irene. How was your day today? Um, very busy but happy. Really? Yeah, thank you. Oh, very nice. Why was it very busy? Because uh, I, I am in a business business with with products okay uh, to a part uh, for my work for my oh work, for all right uh -huh. okay interesting uh, i sell a splash creams <laughs> perfume right. oh perfume. very nice interesting very nice <laughs> yes all thank right. you now, Irene, you live here in San Salvador, you told me? No, I live in Santa Ana. Oh, my goodness. Really, Irene? Yeah. Ah, Normita also lives in Santa Ana. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Normita, I, I, did, I didn't know. Oh. Uh -huh, but you did or you didn't? I, Jose Luis, I didn't know. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jose Luis yeah. is from Santa Ana, and I think. Um, eh, 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 eh. Ah, and Henry is from Sonsonate, I think. Ah, okay. Very important for me. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, can you hear us? Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, can you listen to us? Ah, Jose Luis is here. <laughs> Hi, Jose Luis. Hello, teacher. How Good are evening. you? Good evening. How are you today, Jose Luis? Can you hear me? You? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? How was your day? I am good teacher. And Excellent. you? How was your day? It was good. It was a good day. I rested a lot. It was today. good teacher. <laughs> I have in my house and I spent time with my family. Oh, that's nice. All right. Are you yes, I rested today a lot. I needed it because I wasn't feeling well, so I needed to rest. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Yes. <laughs> no, it's good. Hi. Yeah, it was good. Hi, Dianita. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Excellent. Very nice. Did you exercise today again? Did you work out? No, today not. Ah, what happened, Diana? <laughs> no, I, I am, I'm only working out like three times a week. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you working out at home or you, you're not going to a gym? I don't think they're open right now. Or are they open? I don't know. No, I, I do it in my house. Your house? All right. Yeah. You have to keep safe, Diana. You yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. All right. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Good. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. I stay in, in the computer. And uh -huh. The computer don't, don't have camera. A camera. Ah, okay, Ellie. That's because, okay. Because it's, it's very, very bad. Ah, I understand. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Hi. That's okay. Hi, Jenny.
Can you hear us? Yes. I can. Hi, Jennifer. How are you feeling? A little sick. Yeah. Yes. But uh, during this week, I feel I have a a, a little pain. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we missed you yesterday in class. Yes, because yesterday my sister-in-law uh, put injection. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought something like you were not feeling well yesterday. That's why you were not in class. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better. Did you go to work, Jenny? Yes, teacher. <gasps> okay. All right. Bye. Well, but yeah, that's good. You have to rest tomorrow. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Well, nice to have you in class, Jenny. Okay. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Very good. So Diana, I saw your cat again. <laughs> she's everywhere. Yes. She's everywhere. And she's, she's like running behind me. Behind you, I know, I know. <laughs> I have but, two cats. The oh, you have is, two? Yes, the other one is exactly yeah, the same. Oh, all right, very good. But uh, are both like girl cats or? or... <laughs> yes, girl cats. All right. They but they're girl cats. But they are always at home. Yes, yes, they are okay. always at home. They are oh. like, I don't know how to say, operated. Oh, they had like surgeries on. All right. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. To be at home, to don't have the uh, little kitties. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are they? Uh, one of them is uh, nine years old. Oh, really? Nine? <laughs> yes, yes. And the other one is like, uh, like I don't know, five months, I think. Five months, oh my goodness. So you have an old cat and a baby cat. <laughs> and a baby cat, yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Irene, do you have pets? Yes, I have teacher. I have a, a dog and a, one cat. Oh my goodness, really? Are they friends? <laughs> Yeah, very friends. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. Cool. All right. What about Jose Luis? Do you have pets, Jose Luis? Yes, I do. And yesterday I, I saw the, the Diana cat. And today okay. I see at the same time, I, I think it will be application, but she <laughs> says that it's a real. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a real the cat. cat of Diana. <laughs> oh my goodness! But in, my, in my house, I, I <laughs> yes, because today I see again, and sorry, I asked to Diana is his application or is real? Oh. The <laughs> no, they are real. <laughs> they are so real, though. <laughs> but in my house, I, I I have one too. I have a cat and I have a dog too. Oh my goodness. Okay, very good. I see. What about Jenny? Yes. Do you have any any pets? Yes, teacher. How many pets do you have? I don't I don't have, but my my son and my nephews, yes. Ah, pets. okay. In the home. All right. Okay. Yes. Just give me a second. And they have uh, two cats and one dog. All right, very good. And, uh, and Ellie, do you have do you have um pets? Ellie? Sorry? Do you have pets? Do you have dogs, no. cats? Ah, I, I have cats. Four oh, cats. Four cats, Ellie. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Why, Ellie? <laughs> I like so much. <laughs> really, Ellie? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Interesting. I have two. I have two. There, there and two. And two, and two boys. boys. Yes, oh, yes. oh, my goodness. Are they always at home? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay, all right. Interesting. Nice. All right. I don't like cats. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> well, you like, you like the dogs. Oh, I, I have, I have, have yes, I do. I have three dogs. <laughs> but I don't like that. 
is very, 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 very small, small for the, yeah. for the, for the, for the dog. But you know what? My dogs are small. They are like uh, chihuahuas. <laughs> I have three salchichas. But no chihuahuas. No, ah, salchichas. salchichas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they're small. Dog. Yeah, hot dog dogs. <laughs> yeah, but no, I don't like cats. I really don't. I don't know why. I just, sorry. <laughs> well, teacher, when I was a child, uh -huh. I, I, don't like the, I didn't like the, ch the, the cats. Okay. But surprise, my son... <laughs> <Get it. laughs> How are the cats? Oh this my one. goodness! But All it's right. very uh, the cat is uh is a uh, very clean. Okay. It's All clean right. And it's uh fashions. All right. Okay. Not angry. Yes. Uh -huh, that's true. All right. <laughs> Hi, Oscarito. Hi, good evening, everybody. Evening, nice to have you in class. I was wondering where is Oscar. I thought you were sleeping. <laughs> no, I slept uh, two hours in the afternoon. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, today so, I'm going to sleep uh, one right. way, 12 hours. <laughs> all right, okay. But you don't have to go back to, to work tomorrow, right? No, no. Not tomorrow. No. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> so you rest. <laughs> Oscar, will, do, you, do, do you have pets? Yeah, well, my my parents have a, a cat, a kitty. Uh, uh -huh. So most of you guys have kitties and cats. I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> me neither, me neither. But what can I, what can oh, I do? Yeah, <laughs> right. no, I have no choice. Yeah, no kidding, mm. eh? Diana, do you like it? But you don't like dogs, Diana. Or you um, like dogs? No, I don't like dogs. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's really hard to have uh, kids, you know, because they are like, um, they are like um, unattached to their owners. Okay. And they are like, like some, of, I don't know. Uh, they are not like dogs. They, they are like really happy. Like what? Basically. Like happy. Uh -huh. When they see you, and I don't know, they are more, more. They demonstrate their feelings, and the cats they don't. They are like, like uh -huh. if they don't care. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. That's no. why I don't like cats. <laughs> no, they they have their their favorite persons. Yes, they do. Yeah, they they, they do. have their their preferences. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. No teacher, the cats <laughs> are in in the home is uh, in the house the cats are um in very uh sweet really with us. Yes. Oh okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Well it's really hard because uh, I, I think that uh, the poop of the cats they they smell really bad okay you uh, see we, uh -huh, you have to be really careful because they hide it but if they don't hide it well the whole house is smelling really bad really you <laughs> see you see that's why i don't like cats <laughs> It's but really hard. You have depends. to love them to live with them. Yeah, right. I guess. <laughs> so that depends. The the, yeah. the the cat. <laughs> no. Yeah, the cat, but uh, but the, the the owner too. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. I guess it's. it's... Ah, uh, Jose Luis, I don't understand you because you're kind of like breaking up. Well, I guess having pets is difficult in any kind of animal anyway, because they need, I mean, you need to take care of them somehow, all right? Some of them need more attention than others, but yeah, I guess it's, it's a responsibility that to have a, a pet, all right? That's interesting. All right. Hi, Eric. Nice to have you in class. Hi. How are you today? Fine. Very good. Ec excellent. Eric, do you have pets at home? Sorry. <laughs> Do you have pets? Do you have cats, dogs? Yes. I have 
Three dogs. Three dogs, yay. Three dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, okay. Very, are they big dogs or small dogs? Okay, I told you what, the cats are... Too big. Okay. Two big and, dogs. Uh, two big dogs and one little. Oh my goodness, okay, interesting. Yes, Jose Luis, what were you saying before? Ah, se fue. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Jose Luis, what were you saying before? I guess you cannot hear me right now. All right. Okay, guys. So uh, we're going to keep on talking about uh, what we were doing yesterday. But I'm going to wait for most of your classmates to come in. And then we're going to keep on working on the assessment tool we were working on yesterday. But right now, I'm going to begin with the other topic I have for you. And then when there, there are more students, then I'm gonna, we're going to go back to the assessment tool. All right? So what we're going to do right now and what I'm going to show you right now is this. Just give me a second here. Ah, they, I, I told you that the cat are, are, are smart. Yeah, cats are smart. Okay. Yeah, they are smart. But so are dogs, <laughs> I think. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to share this with you. Okay. And we are talking here about, I'm going to tell you this. This is actually on your book from uh, your manuals. All right, this is how it's called. Can you see? Can you see the name? Coma Splice? Yes. All right. So you may be wondering what is that? All right. The Coma Splice is a type of punctuation that we need to understand how it works okay so this is what we have here and i'm going to tell you what it is but you know what danita can you read the first slide for me please yes what is a comma splice a comma splice is a sentence hero caused by putting just a poor weak comma between two complete sentences all right for example we are we all like grammar Coma. We all love this class. Excellent. So a comma splice is a sentence error caused by putting just a poor weak comma between two complete sentences or two independent clauses. All right. If I say to you, we all like grammar, you understand it. it has a subject, it has a verb, it has a complement. If I say to you, we all love this class, it has a subject, it has a verb, and it has a complement. So that means that those two sentences can, like they can actually be independent because they all convey a meaning, all right? They have meaning by itself, all right? And then a comma splice is a weak comma that is not doing anything on the sentence really, all right? We all like grammar, we all love this class, okay? So then it says a comma splice, what's a comma splice? Oscar, can you read it? Comma splice incorrect use of a comma to connect two independent clauses all right so if we have if we see this again it says a splice is a sentence error caused by putting just a poor comma all right now what is it it says incorrect use of a comma all right it's not only that it's weak or it's poor is that it shouldn't go there all right that we don't need it there all right that's why it says incorrect use of the comma to connect to independent clauses. Independent clauses are the examples that Diana read. For example, we all like grammar. That's a perfect sentence. That is a complete sentence. How do you know it's a complete sentence? Because you understand it. And if, for example, if I just say to you, we all like grammar, you know what I'm saying. I don't need the other one to back the other one up. Or if I say to you, we all love this class, you have a, a complete thought. So those are called complete sentences or independent clauses. That means that they don't need the help of any other sentence because they are understood by themselves and they make perfect sense, okay? So here is incorrect use of a comma to connect two independent clauses, all right? So you have two sentences and sometimes we put a comma in between, but it's not needed, all right? So here we go. Now, what can we do to avoid this? We can use coordinating conjunctions or fun boys, all right? So we have conjunctions with meaning and, se and sentences. For example, fun boys is the way that we, 
that we all know them because they are easy to uh, remember this way. Fanboys stands for for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. All right, for meaning because. Sam drank some water, comma, for he was thirsty or because he was thirsty. And in addition to, I take milk and sugar in my tea. Nor, I'm not. Sara doesn't like apples, nor does she like pears. All right? But, meaning however, all the children wanted to eat pizza, but no one wanted to, hold on, because I can see, whoops, sorry, to buy it, all right? But no one wanted to buy it. Or either we could go to a zoo or we could go to a theme park. Yet, meaning but, the weather was cold and wet, yet we enjoyed it very much. So, meaning therefore, all right, he is sick, so he's not going to the school. All right, so these are, these coordinating conjunctions are going to help us to avoid comma splices, all right? If you notice here, we are using a coordinating conjunction, but before it, we sometimes we're using a comma. In the cases of and, we're not, but usually we, we do. But what I wanted to show you is that with the help of these coordinating conjunctions, we can avoid comma splices, okay? Let's go on here. Comma splice. Eddie, can you read it, please? Comma splice, add one of this word after the comma. For and nor, but, or yet so, coordinate and conjunction. I studied for three hours. Yes, the test was difficult. Okay, very good. Thank you. Comma splice. Add one of these words after the comma. Which words? The coordinating conjunctions. Why? To avoid comma splices, all right? So here we say, I studied for three hours. If I take the sentence, I studied for three hours, it's an independent clause because it makes sense. It, it has meaning by itself, all right? And then the other sentence said, the test was difficult. Sometimes picture this happening in your mind. Delete yet. If you delete yet here, if we say this doesn't, whoops, this doesn't exist right now, it would say, I study for three hours, comma, the test was difficult. That comma there would be unnecessary. That's a comma splice. How can we avoid it? By leaving the comma, but adding a coordinating conjunction, yet. All right, in that case, then it's not a comma splice anymore, and, and then becomes properly written. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes? Yeah, Eric, you understand? Oscar, you understand? Diana, yeah? Jenny, Irene, hi, Jesse, Vero, Henry. All right, do you yes. guys understand? Moises, welcome, all right? Okay, everybody understands, yes? Okay. Then I have a, a doubt. Lee. Yes, yes, Jesse. I yeah. can use the, the comment slide, but in other ways, I, I didn't use. Only can use the coordinate con conjunctions. You can do a all time. I had to use a two. Not and necessarily. If you are using a coordinating conjunction, yes, Jesse. All right. Or okay. you don't you don't use the comma, you don't use the coordinating conjunction, and you add a period, and then you avoid oh, yeah. the comma splice. All right. So okay. you can avoid it by both ways, Jesse. All right. By uh, okay. adding after the comma a coordinating conjunction or by omitting the comma, the coordinating conjunction, and adding a period between the two sentences. A period. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you Very good question. Yes. Thank okay. You. Independent clauses. I am sleepy. Another independent clause. I have to go to work. All right. If you join it together, the comma splice is right here, guys. Can you see it? I am sleepy. I have to go to work. This comma is not necessary. I mean, it could be omitted. You can omit it by two ways, by either adding a comma plus a coordinating conjunction or adding a period. Miren lo que dice abajo. A comma splice is a type of a run-on sentence, which is grammatically incorrect. Okay, this is going to help you guys when you're writing. 
all right? For your writing skills, this is like very important to know because sometimes we add a comma just because we want to add it. But then you become, I mean, you make an error or a mistake uh, because then you, what you're doing, grammatically speaking, this is called a run-on sentence. What is a run-on sentence? I'm going to tell you what it is. What is a run-on sentence? Verito, can you read it, please? A run-on is a sentence error caused by running one sentence into another without putting any punctuation in punctuation. between. Punctuation. Punctuation in between. Example, all right. we, all like, we all like grandma, we all love this class. Okay, thank you, Verito. Okay, so here we have, what is a run-on sentence? And I like this picture because this is what, what happens when you have these type of sentences. It's like having two sentences way together. I mean, they are very, very like near to each other, all right? And then you're like, what? We're, it's like saying, we all like grammar, we all love this class. Excuse me, all right? It's like, it, it sounds like a very long sentence, all right? If you notice this picture, it's like a, a relay, all right? Como que los dos corredores van tan juntos que ya ni se ve, o que pierden el, la, the baton that, it, that it's here, all right? So, what do you do here? Some people are going to write a comma. Ah, but then it's a comma splice. O sea, que pasa de un error a otro, ¿me entiende? Primero tiene un run-on sentence, una sola oración. Ninguna punctuation. That's not right. Pero luego usted viene y dice, ah, pues pongo coma. Entonces cae en otro error. You have another mistake. All right, what is it? A comma splice. And so, what do I do? <laughs> All right, so this is what it, it happens. I am sleepy. I have to go to work. Ah, uh -uh, that's a comma splice. Si yo no le pongo nada, me queda a run on sentence. I am sleepy, I have to go to work. Yeah? Entonces vengo y le pongo coma. Ah, pero entonces es a comma splice. So what do I do? Entonces haga esto. The correction. I am sleepy, coma, but I have to go to work. Y ahí evita el run on sentence y evita el comma splice. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? Hello, hello, do you understand yes. people? Yes I, yes, I do, yes, I do. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Yes, All right, thank you. All right. okay, excellent. Questions, guys? Ah, Eric, it's also here. Eric, oh, nice, very good, it's Friday. <laughs> good evening. Good Jeff. evening, Eric, very nice to have you in class. All right, everybody, nice to see you, nice to see you too. Everybody understands, yes? Yes, teacher. Uh, we use uh, commerce plans with mm -hmm. the connections. It's not that you use it, you avoid it. Avoid it. Yeah, well, what, I, what we want you to do is to avoid comma splices. How do you avoid it? By two ways, either by um, adding a comma and a correlative conjunction of fun boys or a period, que ya vamos a ver el punto, all right? Aquí, uh, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna go back here, guys. Uh, actually here. Here, you can say, the other way to say this, I'm gonna write it here, is this. Um, can you see what I'm doing right now? Puede ver que estoy escribiendo, yeah? Can you see it, guys? Yes, all right. yes, I, yes, teacher. I have to go to work, all right? Esta es la otra forma, eh, eh, Jenny, y eso para todos. Hay dos formas de corregir el comma splice. Una es adding the comma plus a correlative conjunction, all right? Or the other one is adding a period and no comma, no correlative conjunctions. So you are left with, I am sleepy. I have to go to work. Y ahí separa las dos, all right? Like, like the two independent clauses are totally separated. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. So, yes. How do you how, how do you say the period mm -hmm. in Spanish is uh, punto y seguido, but sí, in punto. English, period just period. Yeah. And when we use punto y aparte, aparte period. period. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. That's All right. Good. All right. Do you Please, guys have, yes. We can we can use the peer conjunction conjunction using the the 
lip to? Is the same rule with with the peer conjunctions? No, in this case, like to avoid it, Jesse, they're only telling us that we can use the uh, fun boys. All only right? with fun boys. Right now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So here, I'm going to show you this right now. Let, just let me get it. Okay. Okay. It says, I am in your book on page 19. Si lo tiene a la mano, puede sacarlo. Si no, véalo desde aquí. A, how to fix a, how to fix comma splices, all right? Look at the examples in the box, and then splices below, all right? This is a comma splice occurs, so, so, I'm sorry guys, hay un micrófono abierto y hay como un poco de bulla por ahí. No sé si me hacen el favor. Thank you. All right, how to fix comma splices, all right? A comma splice occurs when a writer has connected two main clauses with a comma alone, all right? This is only gonna happen when you're writing it, guys. But I think it's important because you need to write sometimes, all right, or an essay or something. The problem looks like this. Main clause, comma, main clause. Acuérdese que main clause es, es una independent clause también, que es una, una oración que lleva sujeto, verbo y predicado y tiene un, una, un significado que you are able to transmit without any problem, all right? So that's why it's called main clause or independent clause is lo mismo, all right? Example, incorrect. Training is very important. Employees and managers don't want to do training, all right? ¿Por qué? Porque training is very important. If I say to you training is very important, it's a complete thought. That means it's a main idea or a main clause or an independent clause. If I read the other one, it says employees and managers don't want to do training. A main clause, independent clause, it gives you a main, it has a main idea. It has subject, verb, and, and complement, all right? So we're joining them together by a simple comma. No, the comma shouldn't be there, all right? So what, how can we change it? How can we change it, Diana? How, can, how could we change the number one? Training is very important. Employees and managers don't want to do training, Diana. Mm, we can uh, replace the comma for a period? Yes, all right. So okay. training is very important, period. Employees with capital letters, employees and managers don't want to do training. And the other way, Dianita? It's to replace it for, for another word. Um, maybe you, we can use and. Sure, all right. Mm -hmm. Training is very important. Ah. And employees and managers don't want to do training. Mm -hmm. Diana, would that make sense? No. That? No, no, but, but, but. but maybe but, yeah, but, but would be better, all right? Training is very important, but, excellent, but employees and managers don't want to do training, excellent, all right? So we have two ways, or we add a period, or we have a comma and a, a fun boy conjunction, all right, excellent. Uh, the other one, training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base of all employees. Many employers in the current climate find development opportunities expensive. Uh -huh. So this is an incorrect sentence because it has a comma splice. How can, how can we avoid it, Vero? Sorry. <laughs> uh, Training present a bright opportunity to expand the knowledge base of all employees. And after that, after comma, we can use a, a word, for example, it's okay, but. Training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base of all employees. And and many employees mm. to do increment. No, I don't think Anne would be good, mm. Jenny. Another one? Mm. Training presents a prior opportunity to spend. Or, remember that remember the uh the fun boys, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But it doesn't really make sense if you say and Jenny. Training presents a prime opportunity to expand the base of all employees. But? 
But, but many employers in the current climate find development opportunities expensive. I think but is better in that uh, case. Yeah. All right. Or the other way, Vero, it would be to add a what? Uh, we can delay, delete comma and right. we can use period. That's right. And uh, M of the word many replaced for a capital. Excellent. Excellent, letter. Vero. Very nice. All right. Okay. Fixing a comma splice is simple. You can use one of the following strategies, all right? And the first one is uh, period plus capital letter, and the other one is comma plus coordinating conjunction, all right? This is what we were talking about. The error can be broken into separate sentences, and they give you the, uh, the example here, all right? So training is very important, and uh, the correct one, and then period employees to do training, all right? The other one with the comma plus a coordinating conjunction, it says another good option is to uh, connect the two main clauses with a comma plus a coordinating conjunction. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Those are the fun boys, all right? Incorrect, training is very important. Employees and managers don't want to do training. The correct one, training is very important, comma, but employees and managers don't want to do training. Read number exercise, the exercise that follows, it says, read the following article, identify and correct four comma splice mistakes. Can you do me a favor and take a picture of this right now, guys, please? <clears throat> Finished, yes? Excellent. Eric Diaz, were you able to take the picture, Eric? Yes? Excellent, okay, very good, okay. So what we're going to do right now, hi, Silvita, hi, Gerardo, oh my goodness, and Moises and everybody. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, we have 16 people already in, cool, I like that. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, I'm gonna send you right now to your groups and find the mistakes, all right? That according to the book, it says there are four. So you need to check them, okay? So I'm gonna, I mean, identify them and correct them and make both corrections. I want you, um, for, for each mistake that you find, do the correction A, adding a period and a capital letter, and then the correction B, adding a comma plus the conjunction, all right? For every mistake that you find. So here we go, guys. We're gonna go back right now to the groups so you can work on it. There you go. You may go to your groups now.
Efficiency. The process will ensure project success. Can be for is best to solve. Yes, I think so. But maybe yes. So is for therefore. Por lo tanto, in a, in, a, in Spanish, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it can be for. Uh, so excuse me. No, it cannot be. So no. I think it's better. Activity for... usually included in a company implement training course. So, what is it? Because implement training course, mm -hmm. they have to be increases efficiency. Mm -hmm. Increase. Or can be four to four. Yes, I think it's four because. It's just four. I think the second sentence yes. is a, it's like a consequence of the first one. Yes. So I think it's four. Four. Mm -hmm. another one. Right. Okay. more attractive to potential new recruits. These are people who seek to improve their skills. Mm. And the opportunities associated with those new skills. So I don't listen all the explanation of the teacher, but in this case, I think in the coma is well, because then to the coma, it start with such as and verb. Uh, 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 okay, I don't know. Uh, uh, what, what, what word do you think it is after the coma? Excuse me, for the comma, the sentence has subjects and has verbs. Mm -hmm. It is a complete. I don't listen all the explanation of the teacher, but I think in that when the two sentences are complete, don't need to a uh, conjunction. Ah, yes. Uh, okay, because you don't hear the, the whole explanation of the teacher. Uh, both the two sentences have. Uh, meaning by complete. themselves yeah, they have yeah. a, a complete meaning yes and that's why uh -huh. the comma is a mistake so you have uh, okay you have two ways to 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 erase that mistake you can put a, a period in, instead of the comma that's one way and the yes. other way is to to replace it with with a uh Coordinating conjunction. Conjunction, yes. Yes, that is fun the, word about the fun boys. That can be uh, the fun boys. Yes. Training also makes a company more attractive to potential and the These are people who seek to improve their skills and uh, so I think I think that none of the fun boys are good. And maybe we can only we can just replace the comma with a period. Yes. What do you think? I think in that because it's a new idea, but it, but continue the idea was in a, another way because training also makes a company more attractive, more attractive to potential new recruits. Los programas las hacen que sean más atractivas para tener nuevo personal. Este personal seek to improve their skill. They continue the idea, but in another way. So it has to be a period. Deben de tener las habilidades para tener esta oportunidad de asociarse a esta empresa. 
These are can be a period because it's a rule. And with the rule, you, you can see the, the meaning, but in some ways, it's so necessary to see the meaning of the sentences. The sentences, yeah. Yes. Yes, I, can, I think that no, none of the fanboys work. <laughs> it's good in this case. Which one? Uh, for which one, I, Anita and Jesse? Hello, teacher. Hi. In the in the last uh, in the last paragraph, training also makes a company more attractive to potential new recruits. Uh huh. These are people who seek to improve their skills and the opportunities associated with those new skills. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Because we think that none of the fanboys were apply. Apply. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So we think that the only way to to, to, avoid it, uh -huh. to avoid it is to replace yes. the comma with a perfect. Period. Yeah, very good. All right. Yeah, thank you. Makes sense. Yes, of course. I mean, not all not all of them uh, could work for both possibilities. In this case, it wouldn't make sense to have any of the fun boys, right? So you can just yes. write a period on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Thank you, teacher. Training also makes the company more attractive sure. to potential new recruits. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a period and change the this for capital letter. That's remember? right. Yes, the T for capital letter. Right. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. What about the other mistakes? Did you find them? In the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, we replace oh, okay the first the very first two set sentences from the first paragraph mm -hmm. it is okay because there is a but okay yeah of course but many employers right mm -hmm. okay but when we are uh, talking oh, in the third sentence mm -hmm. before employees mm -hmm. we think we we can replace we can put a four but many employers in the current climate find development opportunities expensive. Okay. And that's great. For employees attending training sessions also miss out on work time, which may delay the completion of projects. Do you think it relates? Or is it separate? Like, like the last one, that, the last sentence that you girls were working on. Mm -hmm. I think they are related because it's like uh, it's like the the last sentence is like a consequence. Okay. Okay. Of, Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. So, what are the benefits? Training will give the employees a greater understanding of the responsibilities within their role. And this is a the, this is the another mistake. Uh huh. Go hard to to a slip or two commas and only is necessary before the conjunction. All right. We have to erase the second slip comma. All right, so which did you did, did you delete one of the commas? Yes, the yes. second one. The second the one. Second. All right. Second. Yes. Okay. That's All right. What about the other one? The other mistake. Okay. I think we we have to add the word and. Okay. Training also creates support uh, supportive workplace. Employees may gain access. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. And then the last one, right? That would be. That was three already. Yeah. Uh huh. And. and and then and this is another. Okay, which one? Sure. I think we productivity usually increases when a company implements training courses. Mm -hmm. So leave and you have to add four for increasing efficiency and processes will ensure prior success. Ah, uh, but you cannot have four increased. You could say to increased, but I mean for increased efficiency, no, because of the way it's oh. increased um, used in that sentence. Okay. 
You can never or say can force. Be so. Or just. Or just um, make it two change. separate sentences. Uh -huh. Productivity usually increases when a company implements training courses. Period. Increased efficiency in project mm -hmm. success. Mm -hmm. They are two separate ideas. Ideas. All right. Yes. Two mm -hmm. separate ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Okay, girls, we're gonna go back. I'm taking attendance and then we have we're gonna check this and another short exercise about these comma splices thing. All right, and then we are gonna go back with the uh, assessment tool from yesterday. Okay, thank you, thank teacher. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, so how was it? How was the exercise? Did you, were you able to get the comma splices and everything? What happened, yeah. Oscar? Did you get them? <laughs> yes, yes. Of All right, very good. I was, I was shaking my. my ah, I'm like, I thought you were saying no. I'm like, oh no, Oscar, what happened? <laughs> no, no. I All right. Like a, I'm like a. How do you say? You have a stiff neck. A stiff neck, but when yeah. you get to cuando te tronas los dedos, it's like a. It when you crack a, your knuckles. Okay, I was cracking. I was cracking my neck. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, 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 very good. Let's see. Um, so what do you guys have here? Let me let me share it with you. Uh let me just get it because I didn't I don't have it here. Okay. Teacher, don't forget Hola. attendant list. Yes, I know. Thank you, Jennifer. I I just told Diana and Jesse that I was coming back to check attendance. <laughs> and I just <laughs> forgot. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, it's Friday. All right. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. And the body now. And the body now. Present teacher. Thank you, Eli. Very good. <coughs> Excuse me. Erika Lirio Perez Diaz. Present. Very good. Uh, Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Vladimir del Ciptepas. Henrito. I saw Henry. I think he's. Yeah. Hi, Henry. Yeah. <laughs> Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Luis. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present, teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present. Andrea Maria. What happened to Andrea again today? Oh, no, Andre. A ver, Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Mm. All right, Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. No. Jennifer Carolina Acosta Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Ah, Normita is not here. Oh, no. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Silvia Maria Salvialta Martinez. Present. Verónica Serna. Present. Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. All right. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Jennifer, for reminding me about the attendance. Thank you. All right. So here we have um, we have this one here, guys. All right, Oscar. Who were you working with, Oscar? <laughs> Oscar, who were you working with, Oscar? With Jose Luis Rivera. <laughs> All right, Oscar and Jose Luis, let's see. Did you find the first mistake or the first comma splice that you think needs to be corrected and how you corrected it? Go ahead, Jose Luis. <laughs> you always do that, Oscar. <laughs> You're so mischievous. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. Aha, uh -huh, Oscarito, I mean, uh, Jose Luis. <laughs> Jose Luis. 
I think he's having problems okay. with audio. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, he, he's having, he's yeah. having trouble. Okay, training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base of all employees, but many employers in the current climate find development opportunities expensive, period. Ah, very good, thank you. Period. Uh -huh. Employees attending training sessions also missed out on work time, which might delay the completion of projects. Excellent, all right, so period would be okay, fair enough, all right, no. A very good, expensive period, employees, capital E, right? Employees, very nice, all right. Let's see, um, Berito, who were you working with? I worked with, um, I, I forgot the name. <laughs> and who was working see. with Berito? Me, teacher. Okay, Jenny. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jenny and Vero, what did you find the other mistake? Yes. yes. Where is it? Yes. Uh, training will give the employee a greater understanding of their responsibilities within their role. And and delete the, the other comma. comma. All right. The other comma in theory it will build a confidence all right very good so the other comma is kind of like useless there all right so you have a comma and then and which is a, a correlative conjunction very good eric mauricio and who were you working with eric i was working with moises okay moises and eric very good can you tell us the other mistake that you guys found okay we think the other mistake is in the paragraph which which starts Training also creates a supported workplace, period. Okay, okay. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about or sought out themselves. Very good, thank you. Very the other nice. way it would be yes. training also creates a supported workplace and employees, comma, and employees may right. gain access to That's training. Right. Excellent, very good. Very good, Eric and Moises, very nice, all right. Uh, let's see, um, Gerardo, who were you working with? Henry, with Henry. With Henry, all right. So Gerardo and Henry, can you tell us where is the other uh, mistake? Gerardo, Henry, anybody? Hello, hello. Can you tell me when a company implement training course, comma, uh, and this mistake I delete, comma, uh, I put bond and capital letter. And capital letter? In increase? Uh-huh, in the All right, okay, yes. in increased, okay, very good. So it would in say- In process. Okay, very good. So it's courses period increased, all right, very good with capital I. All right, uh, let me see. And Diana with Jesse, can you tell us about the last mistake? Okay. Training also makes a company more attractive to potential new recruits. Mm -hmm. These are people who seek to improve their skills and the opportunities associated with those new skills. I think we have, have to replace the comma with a period. That's right, and capital T, right? And capitalized T. All right, very good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you here. We're going to go back to the uh, presentation I had at the very beginning. And I would ask you guys again to hold on. Hmm. Can you guys take a picture of this one too? All right. So what I want you to do here is rewrite the sentences below, correct each of the comma splices by using one of the ways mentioned before. All right, not like above because we were also saying a period or with a correlative conjunction, all right? 
So this is what you're gonna do, but not right now. We're all gonna to the uh, to your um, groups here now. Um, remember yesterday for the ones that were in class yesterday, we were talking about the assessment tool and everything. All right, that we had a questionnaire. For example, I know that Oscar and Sylvia, you were working together, right, Oscar, with Sylvia, and you were talking right. about teachers and everything. All right, Jesse, who were you working with yesterday? Do you remember who you were working with? Yes, with Gerardo. Ah, so Gerardo is here. Okay, perfect. Diana, who were you working with? You were working with Williams, right? Yeah, okay, so we're going to yes, work. Yes, teacher. Because he's not in right now. All right. Irene, who were you working with? With, I know, I, I didn't know that, that number. Uh, Eli. Oh, Silvita. Ah, with Eli. Irene uh, and Eli, you were working together. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, today. Okay. Today, today with Silvita. No, yesterday. No, 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 no. But yesterday, I am. I'm asking about yesterday ah, because of the exercise that we were doing yesterday. Ah, okay, with Eli. Okay, very good. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Eric was not here. Eric Diaz, you were in class yesterday, right? Yes. Who do you remember who you were working with yesterday, Eric? I don't remember. Uh, she's not here. She's not here? Was it Elizabeth Salguero? No, do you remember? I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So hold on. Oscar was working with Sylvia. Jesse, you told me you were working with? Jesse, Jesse, who were you working with yesterday? Gerardo. Okay, Gerardo, right. Uh, Jennifer was not in, and, uh, and who was working with Henry yesterday? Henry, who were you working with I yesterday? Three teacher with Andrea. It was Jose Luis, Henry, and Andrea. Jose, Andre, Andrea. Yes. Okay, very good. Norma, do you remember who you were working with yesterday, Norma? With Veronica, teacher. Ah, Verito's here. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so this is what, what we're going to be doing today for the rest of the class, pretty much. You're going to be working on the, ex on the exercise of the comma splices that I just presented to you and that you took a picture. Then as soon as, did you take a picture? Yes, right? Yeah, of the last exercise. Yes? yes. All right. So uh, after that, you're going to work on the um, exercise that we were filling in yesterday. I'm going to show it to you again for Eric that was not here and Jennifer. Uh, who else was not in class yesterday? I think only you guys. So I'm going to show it to you now so you take a picture of it. Okay. And then you know what to do. For Diana that Williams is not in right now. Hold on. Who else am I missing? Eric, you're going to be working with Jenny anyway. Oh, Andrea is not here. All right, okay. So for the rest of you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up all the groups and then I'm going to resend you to another group. So you are together because the computer does it automatically. All right. So I don't know who Oscar is going to be working with. So, uh, but when I'm going to reassign it, that means that I'm going to, for example, if Nancy uh, Ellie was working, is working right now with Oscar, I'm going to take Ellie off the group or out of the group and I'm going to send um, Sylvia with you, Oscar. All right. So just get, like, have, like be patient a while to restructure all the groups. But right now I'm going to show you this. So this is what we worked on yesterday uh, for Jenny and Eric, so you can take a picture of it. This is what we were working on yesterday for the last part of the class. Can you take a picture of this where it says questions uh, for yes, Eric and Jenny? I, or if you lost it from yesterday class, you may take it again. Okay. Got it. Now, these questions for Eric and for Jenny that were not in class yesterday, these questions are like pretending that you are the ones that are going to be sending the people to training, all right? And these questions you need to ask yourself 
before you send the people to training, all right? So for example, uh, I remember Oscar's and, um, and Sylvia's group from yesterday, they were talking about the teachers, all right? So together they decided that because of the first question, it says, who are gonna be the students or who are gonna be the people going to the training? And they decided all teachers, all right? What, and the, question, the following question is, what do you want them to know on that training? And then Oscar and Sylvia decided they, the teachers that are going to this training, they need to know about the Lepina law, all right? And then the, you have to picture or you have to think, okay, who or the type of company that you are like in charge of right now, you can make one up. Or for example, neither Oscar, well, Sylvia is related to school, but she's not like a real, uh, she's not a teacher. All right, but she thought, okay, so maybe we can talk about teachers. So you can talk about waitresses, you can talk about doctors, you can talk about police officers, you can talk about bakers, you can whatever you want, all right, but answer those questions. So right now I'm gonna resend you to your groups, all right, and then I'm gonna like be fixing all the groups so you can be working with the same person you were working with yesterday, okay, because you already began that job. So I'm going to open up the groups right now and be patient, okay? You'll get to the right person. Normita, ¿con quién trabajó ayer? Con Verito, ¿verdad? Con Verito, teacher. El group, el four group. Okay. Moise,
important. Okay. Diana, in your case, because Williams is not in, then you may work with Eric. All okay. Right? That's okay, that's fair. why I assigned Eric to your group because Williams is not in right now. Okay, right. thank you. Thank, thank you. you Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. So, do you have the, the, the screenshot? Yes, I, we want to. Yes, if you want, if you want to, you can share it, please. Okay, there is. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Okay. Uh, Moises, can somebody... Moises, yes? who are you working with yes? today? I was working with Nubia. Ah, uh, but she's not in, right? So you may stay no, here. No. Yeah, okay, so stay yes, here right no now. Thank, thank you. you. Thank okay, you. thank you. So you may go on, guys. I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, you have the, the picture with the word in this moment? Do you have it? Yes, I took a screenshot, but if you have it, you can you can share. No, I don't have it. I don't have it. No, Jose Luis, I don't have. Do you want me to share it, guys, with you? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Which picture do you want to see? The on the exercise, the from the PPT, or the exercise from yesterday, or both? Both. Both. All right. Oh, Teacher, okay. but in this moment, were the exercise yesterday? Right now, you're working on this first, and then on the on the on the exercises from yesterday. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, uh huh. So you're doing both together. Okay. So this is the first. Uh, the, can you see it? Yes. It was a uh, war day. Mm -hmm. All right. So, did you take a picture? Can you yes. take a picture? Yes, I took. Okay. So, I'm going to stop sharing and then you can do. Do you have the. Um, well, this is the other one. Hold on. Um, this is the other one, guys, from yesterday. Okay. Do you leave? Do you want me to leave it on? Do you want me to keep on sharing it with you, or can I stop sharing? And you guys share. I will share. Thank you, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Just let me because I use two cell phones, so I wanna send this to the other cell phone. Hey, somebody, take a screenshot for sharing. Jose, let me let me move my please. <laughs> Can you see it now? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. But if you want, we can we can start with the with the comma with the other. Uh, with the, the other. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, it's better. This one. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes. We write the sentence below, write each okay. of the comma. I will. The sentence below, write each the comma. I play by using one device mentioned. I was our day. The children were ready to play outside. Maybe I think in these sentences, I was our day, comma, but the children were ready to play outside. What did you say? It was a warm day, comma, but the children were ready to play outside. Yes, I think. What do you think, Moy? Can be, it can be, and the children, comma, and the children were ready to play outside. Or we can delete the comma and put the capital letter, they, 
comma. Yeah, yes, because date. because it's a, a affirmative. Yes, the period okay. and the capital letter. The children were ready to play outside. To play outside. The date, the comma, and you say a capital letter. Yes, in the period. Okay. No, it's 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 just periods. It was a one day periods and after the capital letter. Okay. And number two, she can come with us. She can stay here. She can come with us. Come on. But she can with us. She can she can with us. She can but she can stay here or or M. She, no. For but, me, no. She can cook with us and can stay here. She can stay here. Maybe it's can. It's and. So she came. She can come with us, comma, or come. she can stay here. With us, comma, or. Or she can stay here. Okay. I think. She can what do you come. Think? With she can us. come with us, <laughs> comma. <laughs> Or she can stay here. She can stay here. Yes. It makes sense. It, it makes sense. Okay. I send the the clouds in the chat. Thank you, Henrito. She can come with us, <laughs> or she can stay here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. The, Jose, check the screen, please. Yes, what happened? Uh, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Let me one moment, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jose. Uh, number four, no, number three. If yes. you are ready to go, come on. Come on. Let's leave right away. We won't be late. Oh, if you are ready, ready to go, go let's, let's leave right away when we leave the place. Ah. I'm not sure. You are ready to walk, comma. Let's leave right away. I will say. But I think, if but after a way, if you are ready to go, let's leave right away. But we won't be late. But we will be late. You said, but, you said. But, but, but we won't, we won't be late. What do you think? In the field. In the first comma, I it's think okay. it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay in the first comma. That's mm -hmm. yes. In the second too, but only add but. My way. Okay. Is ready to go. Right way, but we won't be late. Yes, and number four. If you are ready for the world. 
Robert ran to the cabin. No one was there. But no one was there. But no one was there. But. Robert ran the cabin. Como no one was there. You said no in this case. I think that but 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 I think not, but 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 no one to the cabin but no one was there. Was there. Yes. Number and five. Then, and the number five. They saw a lady there. It ran away quickly. And it ran away quickly. Uh, there is a question. You hear me okay in this moment? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Uh, well, well, very well, yes, very sorry. well, very clear. <laughs> Jose Luis and Henry, your, your sound sounds very nice today. Uh, <laughs> uh, Both of you, Henry, Henry. Other days. Yes, it does actually. <laughs> In this moment, I have in my the mouth house. Oh, I know, I know in my house. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you have a better connection in your mother's house. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So every day you have to go see your mom. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. What the other number? <laughs> no wife of your neighbor. <laughs> the no. number six. I don't see you. The, uh, yes, yes. the dog. Number. The dog was keeping. <laughs> the dog was keeping water. No, no, no. Number five. No. No see you. They saw a like deer. It ran away quickly. Ran away quickly. Uh -huh. They saw a large deer. Okay, it ran away quickly. Okay, yes. Uh, they saw. What do you think in the number five? They saw a large deer. It went away quickly. I don't know. They saw a large deer. They saw a large deer. A large deer. It went away quickly. Maybe in no mm -hmm. not for me no. Um. Okay, so I'm here. Moi. Moi, are you there? Moises. Se le cayó la interfeo. No. no. <laughs> he lost the connection. <laughs> he lost it, yes. Maybe. Yes. Maybe.
maybe bug, bug again. But it or but it uh, ran away. But quickly. it ran away quickly. Mm -hmm. They said but. Sure. They saw but either one. You can you can have two choices, Jose Luis and Henry. You can either say they saw a large deer, period, it ran away quickly, or you can say they saw a large deer, comma, but it ran away quickly. Both choices are okay. Both choices. Uh, okay. Okay. But it ran away quickly. Mm -hmm. They saw. You said a period. Period. Uh, yeah. Moises is coming in I soon write. with us. <laughs> okay. I think it is well. raining in Moises' house. Ah, uh, maybe. Hi, Moises, you're back. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> No, he's not back. Hi, Moi. <laughs> oh, yeah, then now he is here. <laughs> Hi, Moi, says. <laughs> <laughs> you can say Moi. Okay. Moi is. <laughs> Does Moi say, Moi says. No. Uh huh. I'm here. You're I'm here, here. Moi says. Yes. Welcome yes. back. Moi says. I'm really sorry. No, that's okay. Moi says, where do you work? Okay. I work at the same place with Henry. Ah. <laughs> 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 Why, teacher? You, you can say <laughs> moi. Big, big, yeah, because you guys <laughs> treat each other very friendly. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so, a long tie, I don't see it. Yeah, this, no, <laughs> this guy, no gay. <laughs> This guy is scary. <laughs> Listen, so when is when is the hotel opening opening up? Is it for sure the date or you still don't know yet? It's Hola. September nineteenth. Okay. All right. Cool. I see. And the, the next number six, the dog was keeping war, comma, it never hear the burglar. The dog was keeping war. The dog was <laughs> keeping war. He never. Yes, Where is the burglar? Burglar is a is the is a thief. Mm -hmm. It's like a thief. Okay. Ladron. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Bang. I think it's N. The dog was keeping warm and it never hit the burglar. Yes, for me, it's, it's okay. And the dog was keeping warm and it never hit the burglar. The burglar. Um, Mois is here. Moi. Moi uh, yes. Can you hear? What do you think about the the last sentence? Can you share the screen please? Sure. Can you see? Yes. The dog was keeping guard. But he never heard the but, 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 or but he never but. heard the, yes, 
but he never heard the bull grass. Okay. I lost one more. It's raining in Cajutla, Moy. Yes. Moy, it's raining in Cajutla. Yes, teacher, I live in Cajutla. Ah, cool. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason I have a, a very bad connection because. Oh, uh, come when, on. When, yes, yes. Because when here it's raining, I had a lot of problems with the connectivity. Oh, okay. Right. Yes. All right. Moises, in which area of the hotel do you work? I work in the Cameron Explorer. It is a, uh, I am the people in charge to the tours and the, and the transfer from the hotel to the airport and the airport from, from from the airport to the hotel. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when everything reopens again, I'm gonna go to the hotel. I have only been there once, long when time ago. Huh? Along, along. How many time ago? Uh, maybe I don't know. Ten years, maybe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only one, sorry. It's too expensive, guys. Come but, on. <laughs> no. This time, Moi. <laughs> yes, it is. Moises. Moi Imagine. Moises, I have my family. We're five. Ah, okay. That's the reason oh, that you. Yeah, of that. course. Yes, it yes. is expensive. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm yes. only a teacher, <laughs> Moises. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're right. Uh, Moisés Mo has a promotion for you. Oh, really? Cool, Moisés. Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to be talking. Counts. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Jose Luis and Henry work in, in the reception. Ah, all right. They can help you about the sun discount there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> 50% off. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, if, if, if you want if uh -huh. you want to visit the hotel, uh, we can help you some with some something. Something oh. but no this no a discount. Well when like for example for a uh, reservation for dinner at a car or something like that. Oh, cool. nice. so when you go to the hotel, just let me know and I will I help you. So, <laughs> All right. But cool. not <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Jose. Jose. Hi, boy. And the we finished the the no the the first page. Yes. Okay. And then, and then this is the next one. I can see very well. Can you see me? Yes. And you, Enrito. For <laughs> <laughs> Henry, it's really difficult. <laughs> hey, I don't use a glass. Uh, let me check, guys. I... Because they are not full time workers. That's another important thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because they are like not linked with with our with vision or with culture. Our, with, mm -hmm, with our culture. Yes. So that's another thing that we have to deal with. Hi Dianita. Hi Eric. Hi teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Were you able to finish the two uh, assignments or the two tasks? Yes, yes. All right, very good. What do you have for the first one with the uh, the um, comma splices? That exercise really, um, really, uh, we didn't together because at ah. the beginning I was in a, with, with Moises and I was uh, doing that 
exercise ah, with him. All right, okay. But you when have I, it. But Dianita, Diana, yes. you finished it, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. So let, let's 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 see what you have for a number uh, for the one that says it was a warm day and everything. How did you change that okay. one? Let me see. Number one, it was a warm day, uh, and comma, comma, and the children were ready to play outside. Okay. All example. right. Okay. Very good. Uh, the other possibility would be just to say it was a warm day. Period. Period. Uh, whatever, right? The rest of the sentence. The other sentence, right? Very good. What about the other one, Diana? She can come with us. No, I don't know what are you talking about. About what exercise? Okay, wait. Dianita. Uh -huh. Eric is gonna is gonna share. Diana, you didn't okay, do that you. one. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh yes, yes, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I, yes, I did, it, but I'm. I don't know where it is. Okay, she can come with us. Uh, okay, uh -huh. uh, she can come with us, but we can replace. Uh, or she can stay here. Right. Very good. Coma. Right. Coma or. Coma. Right. Coma very or good. She can come with us, here. or she can stay here. Very stay good. Here. All right. Okay. Uh, Eric, the, this is your screen, number right, three. Eric? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. E, number three, if you are ready to go, uh huh. Let's ha let's leave right away. Period. We won't be late. Right. Very good. Okay. Very nice. All right, Diana, do you have it anyway, anywhere, anyhow, differently? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. the first one is uh, Robert ran to the cabin, a coma, but no one was there. That's right, but no one was there. All right, very good. Eric, yeah. is that how you have it, or did you write it some uh, differently? No, I have, I have the same. All right, very good. So number five? Number five. They saw a larger deer. It ran away. So they saw a larger deer. But comma, but it ran away quickly. That's right. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it ran away qu quickly. Or they saw a large deer, period. It ran away quickly. All right. So, like yes. two different thoughts. Very good. Diana, the last one. Okay. The dog was keeping guard, but it never heard, heard the burglar. All right. Okay. The dog was keeping guard. But he never heard the burglar. All right, Eddie, do you have it anywhere, anyhow, differently, or you're okay with it? Uh, no, the other way, mm -hmm. the dog was keeping guard, period. period. Yeah. never heard, heard the, burglar. the burglar. Very good. All right. Okay, guys, what about the other one? Did you, were you able to finish Diana and, uh, and Eddie? Which profession or what did you come up with with that one? Okay, because we were talking about, uh, we were talking yesterday about uh, companies with Williams. Okay. We decided to talk about uh, the funeral home. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we were Diana, talking, you know we what? Was... One day you have to tell me, how did you come up with that business? <laughs> I mean, it's because not so usual, I guess. I mean, we have many of them all over the country, but I have never met someone that owns a funeral home. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, because my father was working in a funeral home. Mm. And he was like, so, yeah, he get all the, all the, the information knowledge. we need. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Know how. Yeah, yes. no kidding. All right. Yes. Oh, and wow. I was like with the idea to having a, a largest business because I had a, a business to sell computers. Okay, <laughs> all right. So my father told me that the funeral was a really good business. Okay. And that's why. Mm -hmm. ah, interesting. <laughs> all yes. right, okay, and very good. Because my mother died when I was younger, I think that we. We are like, I'm not sure, kind of, kind of the Adams family. 
<laughs> Diana. <laughs> I'm not sure it is kind of creepy, but it is like it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not creepy. It's just unusual, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you get me. You get me. Yeah. That. Right. It's, it's a job that is not for everybody. No, no, for sure, Eric. I mean, that's the thing. The first thing I, I said to uh, to Diana when she told me. <laughs> All right. Yes, so like, oh, of... my goodness. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of difficult, yes. Yes. No, I wouldn't, Dianita. I don't think I would be able to. <laughs> and you know what? And I, I, I have said this to you before. I don't think it's because... It's not because it's scary, it's because it's sad. It's, yes, it is sad. So, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, I'm so scared of death and of, I'm scared of dying that I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> not in a hundred years. So, I mean, forget it. <laughs> yes. And sometimes you know the people who is your clients. Oh, because my they are goodness. Paying, they are paying for their funeral before they are dead. I and know so the Anna. <laughs> and they died and we are like, oh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Miguel, he's oh, dead no. and, and now we have to I them. No, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness, that's so difficult. Yeah, yeah it is. So it's like in the business, it's you and your dad. Uh, yes, it's me and my dad, yes. And we have another employees now, but we right. started the with me All and right. my dad. It's All awesome. Right. It's awesome. <laughs> yes. Right, okay. I love my job. Yes. Right. It's awesome to work with, with my dad. <laughs> nice. Very good. That's the you know, that's the whole point, I guess, to enjoy your job, you know. And yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's it's cool because I don't watch the the dead bodies, you know. You don't because no I don't. I don't I, I just, maybe I saw them when they are like in the coffin, they are like embalmed okay. already. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't watch, watch it when they are like working on them. <laughs> I, I don't like No, Diana, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> right, yeah. But what about your dad? Does your dad do it or? No, they are like, uh, no, my father doesn't do it. Uh, we have to, uh, how do you say, contratar? You hire. Uh -huh, you hire, but we hire uh, two embalmers, guys. Ah, right, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. They are like specialized in that. Oh my goodness. Yes. You they know. are not full time in the, in, the, in the funeral home. No, in our funeral home, no. We don't have a, a embalmer. A full-time mm. embalmer? No. Only when a service need. Only when a service mm. is needed. All right. Yes, ah. mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Diana. You know, sometimes I get amazed but all by all the types of jobs there are outside because I mean there are so many jobs to do. And yes. I guess it's just I don't know. It's Para los gustos los colores. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes. it's really interesting. All right, guys, we're going to go back. I forgot, I mean, the attendance. Oh my goodness, and then it's time to go okay. pretty much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Guys, I'm sorry. Um, I was in some of the groups and I'm here. The attendance, we need to take attendance. I know it's almost time to go. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. <laughs> Hi, Elita. Thank you. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Present. Henry, I mean, Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Present. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Henrito? Where are you, Henry? I don't see you, Henry. And I'll come back. <laughs> in the bright room. Oh, Henry, there you are. No, he's here. I was just... <laughs> Moises Eduardo Roque. Present. Oh, very good. Uh, Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia uh, Maldonado Tejada. Present, teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. 
Present. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Williams Alexander Rodriguez Argueta. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Jenny, Present Jennifer. teacher. Thank you. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Present teacher. Sí, sí, yes, thank you, Norma. Thank you. Eh, Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero eh, Romero. No, all right. All right. Eh, Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Silvita. Present. Thank you. Verónica Lizet Soto Serna. Present. Silvia Araceli Cortez Amaya. She's not here. All right, guys. Uh, quickly, because we have like a couple of minutes here. Uh, let me see. So, Diana and Eric, uh, can you tell us about the questions that you came up with with Eric, the answers that you came up with, with the, for the last exercise, so the one that we began yesterday? Like the uh, questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we were talking at, uh, about my business that is a funeral home, and we were saying that the learners would be the operational area workers okay that um, like the embalmers and the drivers and the helpers because um, because they are uh, they are like tough sometimes with the people mm -hmm. with the clients okay they are, have a lot of um, technician knows but sometimes they are like rude with people oh okay so we know it. what do we think they know already they know how to do the work. Right. But we need them to have empathy. <coughs> nice. Okay. Clients. Right. And I think what that they want to know, uh, if, if, if we ask them, maybe they want to have more, te more technician knowledge. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. But it is essential for us mm -hmm. uh, that they are, they know how to treat people because the, the clients, they are, uh, having a really tough moment of when course, they are losing, yes. uh, a, loved are losing a, a loved one. Yes. And I think that the, this kind of training that will help a lot. Right. Because we will have uh, more clients mm -hmm. coming in, right? Coming in, yes. All right. Very and good. It. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Um, Oscar and Sylvia, can you tell us, uh, yesterday you began telling us about the teachers and stuff, but today you had time to finish all the questions. So what did you come up with, Silvita and Oscar? Oscar, okay. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, <laughs> Silvita. <laughs> okay. Okay, here I go. Let me, let me take the, the questions. Uh, okay, here, here we have. Who are the, in this case, who are the learners? Mm -hmm. uh, these are the teachers. Okay. Teachers from any, from any level. Okay. From any level at this school. This is right. a school. Uh, what do we, what do we know? What do they know already? Mm -hmm. They know few about uh, uh, laws, uh, the law. Okay. Okay. They know a little to, about the law. Okay. A little about the law of how to treat our uh, children. Okay. Uh, what do we want them to know? We want them to know the Lepina law. Mm -hmm. What do they want to know? Uh, we somehow they want to know how to not, not how not to get in trouble. Okay, or, right. Or, a, yes. or avoid a, a sue from the parents. Oh my goodness, yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. What learning is most essential? Uh, what was it, uh, Silvia? Silvia. Silvita, help. <laughs> <laughs> what learning is most essential and how will we decide? Uh, is, is the most learning is how to treat better the child or, or the mother. Uh, right. Don't be rude, uh, be kind with the, the, with the treat, with, the, with them. Okay. 
and what is the case of this uh, what is the cause of this training need well we make up that the some parents want to sue some sure people. yeah and you know what that's such uh -huh. a reality yeah very good uh -huh. yeah okay and uh, what my will learners do with the training they will uh, comply with the, mm -hmm. the penal law okay they will treat the children according to the Lepina law. Okay. What data do we already have about our children, our, our training audience? Mm -hmm. um, they haven't attended okay. uh, any, any, any children law training. Okay. And what types of training environment fit the subject matter? Mm -hmm. The subject matter uh, in this case uh, workshops. We decided okay. that workshops fit uh, well on this on this case because you you for example you uh, place a, a case cases and then uh, you solve them or or solve them in, in groups. Okay. And, and you learn how to deal with this uh, and how to comply with this law. All right. Okay. Interesting. Very good. The very last group. Norm, thank you, uh, Oscar and Silvita. Uh, Normita, who were you working with, Norma? Uh, Veronica. All right. So what did you girls come up with? This is going to be the last group, and I promise I'll let you go. <laughs> Vero. Hello. Hi, Verito. Uh-huh. So Hello. what was your audience? All right. Your, the people that you're sending. We are speaking about with Norma about um, a specific professional, a, a chef. Oh, nice. It's, for example, and the first, who are the learnings? Uh, the learnings are the the student for for chef. Ah, so the future chefs. Yes. Cool. All and right. The what do they know already? For example, in that in that step, the training make a, or use an exam. Mm -hmm. with a basic topic in order okay. to identify the knowledge the, the, the previous or, knowledge yes okay. or uh, or an interview okay oh example, okay yes. all right and what do we want to what do we want them to know mm -hmm. and according the investigation about the student now or the result that we have mm -hmm. about the the interview or the exam Okay. The the school prepared to models to to giving a program in order to in in order to equalize the the basic knowledge. Okay. And then continue with the normal program. Okay. Uh, for the what do they want to know? Also, we can use the the result that we have uh, in the. In the research and the information that you got. Yes, and the information okay. has a result, the interview or the exam, mm -hmm. okay. for example. All right. Uh, the other is what learning is more essential, how we will decide. Uh, we are decide according to the results. For example, okay. in the assignment in interview with the student, in the subject, for example, if, uh, if the all the students are interested more in, in bakery. Mm, all right. Because is that, uh, ah, como, como si, en lo que más choose. están interesados. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. all right. And what is the cause of this training need? Will training help? Is, for example, um, if the restaurant are requiring people who have knows a uh, chef that we have that training in, for example, more in bakery, mm -hmm. is that is the, the cause. Okay, I get it. Okay, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and for example, uh, uh, when, when this I see if the students have problems, uh, yes, are problems because the third one is that they can choose a, they can found, a, for example, they can lose her, her job. Right, okay. Yes. All right. Something, 
All Only right. that, I don't know if, if yeah. Nomita wants to add more <laughs> information. All right. Okay, and, and, and also all, all problems we notice is if the people don't learn uh, good, mm -hmm. can be the owner for the restaurant said, uh, this person anymore, I send another training. Right, ah, oh, okay, all right. Yes, and then the, the, the people lost opportunities to right. grow up right. or continue in the same okay. position. Okay, all right. And another, and another question, what data do we already about our training audience? Mm -hmm. We define the student feed the format okay. with the personal information about mm -hmm. the needs to learn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the new training. Okay. And for right. the last one, what type of training environment mm -hmm. feed the, the subject matter? Uh, we define they need to use in uh, the box okay. and that technical training mm -hmm. and in the workshop because mm -hmm. in the workshop they make uh, physically the receipts right the they recipes know the yes. por the, the portions mm -hmm. okay the the ingredients the ingredients the method mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. make all that all right in order to to reach the the reset with the flower in mm -hmm. the in the appearance okay all right very good excellent normita very well all right, guys, I'll let you go now. I know we like passed the time, but I wanted to hear the other groups. So thank you so much for being another week with me. We have two more weeks and we're going to be finishing advanced one. All right. Thank you so much. Have a nice weekend. Please work thank on the platform you. and I'll see you Monday. All right. Remember your thank tareas. You. All right, guys. Bye. Thank Good night. You. Thank you. Have a nice Bye. 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 Bye.